You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR 2 News headlines. Well, the vaccination rate is no longer setting city coronavirus policy. Mayor Brandon Scott says the city will follow state procedures and lift all pandemic measures on July 1st. So that means in 15 days, you will no longer have to wear a mask indoors in the city or anywhere else. For months, the city has said they needed 65% of city residents to have at least one shot before the mask mandate would be lifted. But the city's health commissioner says other metrics now support the move. Nearly 57% of those in the city have gotten at least one shot of the COVID vaccine. 50% have been fully vaccinated. Howard County is expanding its July 4th celebration this year. Last month, County Executive Calvin Ball announced a scaled back celebration with just the fireworks show. But today he announced some changes. There'll be bands, food trucks and other entertainment. He credits this to residents efforts to get vaccinated. More than 81% of eligible Howard County residents have received at least one dose of the vaccine and 73% are fully vaccinated, giving us the highest vaccination rate in the state. About 52,000 eligible residents have not yet started the vaccine process. The Baltimore Symphony Orchestra will hold a month of free concerts. The free summer concert series kicks off on July 4th with a patriotic broadcast right here on WMER that airs at 6.30. It'll feature patriotic favorites, including the Star Spangled Banner, Ives Variations, America, and Gershwin's An American in Paris. The 30-minute performance will be followed by free in-person concerts from July 8th to July 30th. High pressure lingers for another day in the forecast. That means an abundance of sunshine and some comfortable temperatures. Uh, looking at lower dew points, starting off the morning in the mid 60s, heading into the afternoon, we climb into the upper 70s. I do expect with most locations to flirt with the lower 80s for afternoon highs. And then as we head towards your Friday, warmer numbers, upper 80s, humidity starts to tick back up, humid and warm for your Saturday with the chance of showers and thunderstorms rolling in late evening into the start of your Sunday where Father's Day looks a little damp where highs climb to 92, rain chances lingering through the beginning of next week. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day. We'll bring you updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 News app in your app store. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.